Hey Shane, this is Chad. Um, I'm making a video. We're headed to this Museum of Printing and I wanted to know if I could use one of your songs in the video. It's called The Moon, The Moon and I know it's kind of a personal song for you but I think it will go very well with the Museum of Printing. Also, the Museum of Printing is in the same town where Rob Zombie grew up. Not that I give a shit about Rob Zombie. I'm not the early 90s throwback you think I am but I thought you might like to know. So give me a call back. Let me know if I can uh, use your song. Thanks. He's the world's greatest Chad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not bad. No, no, no. He's gonna take a great big bite. Wandering aimlessly through life. He's the world's greatest Chad. Yeah. Yo, it's Shane. I couldn't really understand what the world's greatest Chad was asking me. I think you were asking if you could use one of my songs. You can, but just give me a credit. Most people don't realize what a genius I am. Oh, please do. <laughs> Look at the silly hat I'm wearing. It's not even authentic. Paper holding system made out of it. 19th century painter's <laughs> So we were going to try and do a line inside the table. is not only gigantic and heavy, it sold for a million dollars in 1960. It was one of the first color scanners. It scans your originals and produces four negatives, yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. It was invented by Dr. Rudolf Hell. And his inventions, actually, were the basis for fax and for other digital technologies. The company existed way into the 1990s, and Dr. Hell, I think, died at the age of 100. But this was the basis for what color scanning became. Today, they are desktop units, and they fit inside your printer. So a lot of these oddball places that Roxanne and I have visited in the past, we've learned about through an online catalog called Atlas Obscura. You've probably heard of it. They catalog all these kind of oddball tourist destinations. 
and we've hit pretty much all of the ones in a two or three hour radius of our home. Uh, today we're stretching the boundaries a little bit more than we normally would. We're heading up towards the Catskills to a place called Opus 40. So I'm in this old quarry, and it was purchased by an artist, and he turned it into these sculpture grounds, but he died before he could finish. I'm gonna walk to the top, this big steeply thing at the top, we're gonna go check it out. Take that. You want to send up the drone? This is our dining room, slash photo studio, slash print shop. Usually we just print t-shirts, today we're printing stickers. everything about this, but I think my favorite part might be Armory of the Fearless Truth. Yeah. So this sticker represents the figurehead experiment. The figurehead experiment started as an art installation and eventually turned into just a fun travel project. And now it's basically just graffiti. But the face of the figurehead is actually of my friend Jeff. Let's go meet him. This, this is Jeff Nash, the face of the figurehead. What's going on? Nothing, go back to bed. So I'm delivering these figurehead stickers to Mailman Dave. You remember Mailman Dave, right? Hey everybody, it's Mailman Dave! Yeah! Thanks! Well, Mailman Dave, he has a bus, and he wants his bus covered in figurehead stickers. So I printed these, and we're delivering them to him now to help him out. Hey, what do you want? Hey everybody, it's Mailman Dave! Yeah! I'm not Mailman Dave no more. Dulcimer Dave. Dulcimer Dave. Dulcimer Dave. Dulcimer, that works. Dulcimer Dave. <laughs>
Okay, so I know this is a long episode, but I just want to show you something really quick. I think it goes with the uh, printing theme of the episode. So I found this under my grandparents' bed when I was cleaning out their house. So at first, when I found this newspaper, I thought it was the actual print from 1917. But it turns out this is an issue of reprinted historical headlines, and it was printed in 1964 by the Hartford Current. November 11th, 1918. December 7th, 1941. June 6th, 1944. Tuesday morning, August 7th, 1945. August 15th, 1945. Saturday morning, November 23rd, 1963. So anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know how to properly archive something like this, or if it's even that important. If you have any ideas, please let me know. Um, I'm probably just going to hide it away somewhere for someone in the future to find. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Sorry, I was supposed to pop out. Yo, where's my pop out?